Good morning. morning. It is 6.20 in the morning, a very fresh zero degrees outside, but we are making a start in the day to try and see if we can spot some wildlife by heading to the Mizzy Lake Trail in Algonquin Park. Let's go. It is just gone 7 a.m. and we're about to start the trail, hoping to see some wildlife from a safe distance away. It's quite dark because we're all covered by trees. Should be interesting starting this early, but we've been informed that this is the best time to see wildlife, so here goes nothing. into this trek already but it's taking a lot longer than the other trails that we were doing yesterday and the main reason for that is because it's pretty tricky terrain it's definitely not for the faint of heart so if you're going to be doing this particular trail then get a few other trails under your belt first and get comfortable with that because I well, thankfully it's pretty flat but there's a lot of rocks and roots and even this boardwalk because of the temperature is pretty slippery so yeah, make sure you've got a firm grip on your boots as well. It's also worth noting, we were hoping to see some wildlife. We've seen maybe a couple of rodents and that's been about it so far. We remain hopeful though. But don't jinx it because we want to remain a safe distance. True. Yeah, there is definitely a safe distance to be able to encounter a moose or a bear, so... I'd like to arrive at the car safely. In one piece, yeah, that'd be great. A few things that I found really interesting about this trail is that, number one, it's called the Mizzy Lake Trail. However, there are a number of other lakes that you will walk by along the way, including this one. I believe there's about like six major bodies, although there are a few streams as well. The other thing that I have found really interesting and fascinating is the terrain that you walk through. I would find it boring if it were all the same, but it's actually been quite different. At certain points, you're more covered. At other times, you're more open, like right now. Also, you walk along some boardwalk or you're just kind of on a really flat trail and other times you're having to navigate the rocks and roots. So it's been really good so far.
Well, an intrepid four hours and 40 minutes later, we have finally completed the full loop on this trail. It was a lot harder than I think we all considered it to be at first, mostly because there's just so much up and down, mixed terrain. So it's not just necessarily like the physical toll on your legs, but it's also a mental toll because you have to be constantly thinking about where you're stepping all the time. If you look at the map here between points three and seven, it's relatively flat terrain or there is boardwalk. And then again, around Dizzy Lake, which is number 12. The rest is very uneven. What I found the most physically exhausting was the actual length of the trail. And so I think you should really keep in mind that it's helpful to bring food and snacks along the way for energy. It's about lunchtime now. So we are going to be heading over to a nice cafe for some lunch and tea and coffee because one, we need it. And two, I think we've earned it at this point. Nick got a burger and sweet potato fries. I have chili and Auntie Alexa has a very nice looking Cobb salad. We're just stopping by to do the Whiskey Rapids Trail before we head home. It's 2.1 kilometers long, so shouldn't take us too, too long. Here's where we start to, I think, ascend. Well, that trail was a lot easier than the previous one. Certainly, it was a lot smoother on the foot. There was a bit of elevation change so you had a big downhill to start with and then a big uphill to climb back but the rest of it was pretty flat 
you did have maybe a few roots and rocks and things like that that you had to be careful of, but it wasn't the same level of needing to concentrate on every step like the other trail. So that one was a good one. That was one that is considered to be a moderate one. So there's about 20 different trails that you can do through the park. And as far as that one goes, it was pretty decent. On the subject of the 20 trails all in all, then you'll notice that as you come into the park, you'll get an information guide. Each of those will give you full details as to how hard each of the trails is the distance and the general amount of time that you can expect to spend on that trail in general. So with that, if you're coming for one day or several, then it's pretty easy to plan ahead and just then be guided by the sorts of things you want to do during the course of the day. That is now our final trail for this weekend. So we're now going to be driving back to the city, hopefully picking up some coffee on the way. After a solid four hour drive home, we are officially back. It was an extraordinary trip, very fun. Wish it wasn't quite the drive that it ended up being, but the key thing is we're home. It was very satisfying indeed. But um, that's it for now. So in the meantime, take care. And keep smiling.